Good evening. Well, today is Friday. It is a good day. It was hot today in Bakersfield. No joke. Bakersfield, California was hot. But I know a place that's hotter. Deep down below in the fiery depths of hell. Anyways, good evening. Um, I'm going to talk about seeds. Um, seeds and seed, okay? Uh, now all things begin with the seed okay jesus said seed upon the soil of course i'm showing up the scripture but he said those words in luke 8 11. now go to genesis 1 29 when you get a chance and read that first peter 1 23 that's going to be my main scripture today and matthew 17 20. when you get a chance go and read those stories on your own and you'll see the seed, how it works, and everything is seed and, seed and harvest, okay? Um, I was thinking about seeds when I woke up the other day. And I first thought about a mustard seed. A mustard seed is very, very small. And it's smaller than a grain of rice. And I thought about a bean and how I taught the children's class and how I taught my own children um, about planting a seed the bean and we did it in two ways we did it in soil in a see-through cup and then we did it in a wet napkin inside of a baggie and we left it and then we came back the next week and check on them and the kids were amazed some were in the the cups they grew tall and some of the baggies they grew broke open quickly the bags opened quickly more quickly than the cups did for some reason and um, it was just amazing. I mean, the kids loved it, it was fun. But it was to show how seeds work. They plant and they grow. So I went to the store to go buy some seeds um, to have a real life example to examine. Um, I got two different types of seeds. I got an herb, cilantro, and a vegetable pea. They are in different sizes and shapes and different instructions too um, was on the back of each package to explain the different um the information about them different information and um it was very interesting but i seen a couple of common things that i'm going to bring to your attention um one of them is they are all seeds regardless small big large little but everything is a seed when it comes to an idea a thought etc okay so you cannot just accept any seed any thought any idea because there's only three places that it comes from either ourselves or soul from our learning experiences or growing up the devil which he can only project thoughts he cannot speak because he doesn't have a mouth so that's why he uses people um or god god he he gives us thoughts and ideas the holy spirit comes to talk to us and um but you cannot just accept anything, but everything is in seed form, okay? So these seeds that I got, they need to be planted in some, some type of soil. Now, in a human being, the soil for ideas and thoughts, the seeds to go into is your heart or your mind. So keeping in mind that our hearts, it says in the Bible, to protect it, to keep it because that's where the life flows. So it's so important that those seeds that go in are of God. And the ones that have been there, that were rooted in there when we were little tiny, tiny babies, when the, you know, little tiny kids, those hurts, those problems and all that, those are all seeds planted in there. And it takes so much time for God to root those out and be replaced with the word of God, which is the seed of all seeds, okay? And there's something else they need they need water to live and the water in the natural is awesome because it gives nutrition well that's the word of god that's jesus so you're either going to get it from the word or you're going to get the water from the word to make your life live to make the plant live or you're going to get it from the world you can still live but you're going to have worldly knowledge worldly life worldly success not in god but with god everything is better because we have a guarantee in him because he cannot lie he is god and the word is forever and it cannot be broken it cannot be measured it is the word and it is eternal 
Jesus Christ is the ultimate seed. 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 23. Jesus, he is the ultimate seed. It is incorruptible. It is alive and it will remain forever. I'm talking about the seed, but Jesus is not in a thing. He is a person. He's real. He's alive. He's ultimate. He's incorruptible. He is Jesus Christ and he loves us and he's our friend. Oh, Jesus, please help us, God, in all of our endeavors, Father, in every area of our life. Open our spirits, open our minds, everything that we need to do, everything that we have to uh, accomplish. And in God, in life, just let your seeds of life come into our hearts and let it just continue to grow. When the seeds of righteousness hit our heart and are planted, they cannot be destroyed. Jesus is there forever forever and ever. Thank you, Jesus. Now, in conclusion, there's a prayer here. Help us remember that you are the word and we need you in our hearts. See, he is not just the savior, but he is the deliverer. And those that need deliverance, just lift up your hand and just say, deliver me from those seeds of wickedness, those seeds of hurt, those seeds of disappointment, the destroying seeds, the, the, the human nature seeds, and replace it, God, with your word, your sweetness, your deliverance, your love, your peace, your kindness. Because he's God and Jesus cannot lie. And he's gentle and he's comforting and he's kind. There's none like Jesus. Please remove anything that is in my, in my life. Repeat after me. Please remove anything that is in my life like a weed and will choke the word. Please help us to grow in knowing you more intimately, Jesus. God bless you for listening. And I bless you and your family, your household, and everything about you. When you're listening to this, you're blessed. You're blessed going in. You're blessed going out. God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.